Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. This is the first video on graphic series in Istata. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the common commands useful in all the graph types in Istata. Let's begin. Let us create our data set. So in order to draw a graph, we'll have to begin with the word graph followed by the command. So this is how we can draw a graph pie chart actually. This is the pie chart. C is a categorical variable. Good, better, best. In order to draw a two-way graph, let us see an example of two-way scatter graph. So this is how we, this is the scatter graph between A and B. So the first, so the last variable is x-axis, represented in x-axis, and any of the variables preceding the last variable are represented in y-axis. Similarly, another way of drawing the same graph is by writing two-way scatter AB. So we don't need the graph, word graph over here. And another way of drawing the same graph is by simply writing a scatter AB. So, so these are three different ways of drawing a scatter graph. Now let us change its height and width. So currently this is our graph. Now we are going to use this command called graph display and margin. We are going to change your margin. And if you look at it, it's margin shrinks. L is for left, R is for right. So we have, we have allowed it for this margin 10 on the right side and 10 on the left side. Display, same graph, we are going to change its x, x, x size and y size. Actually, this is the x axis and y axis. So y axis is far greater than x axis. X size is 4 and y size is 5.5. Similarly, we are going to change the x axis now by 5.5 and y axis by 4. This is the size we can increase now let us draw a normal scatter graph a b with the size of y 5x 9 and scale is 3 and let us see what are the changes the scale you see the scale is multiplied by three times the original size and x axis was 9 and y axis is y this is a normal scatter graph and we are going to again play with the x size and y size use the graph region option and see what happens now let us add the com title to this graph and we'll have to specify this option both title for any graph so we're going to give the title practice of graph you see this is the title and next let us add its subtitle so the subtitle is of five districts of nepal from 1995 to 1990 to 2015 now you with the title we get the subtitle similarly let us add some note to it and we're going to add the source of this data as a note to it and you say this is the note so the options are very intuitive you write, write title and you specify subtitle for the subtitle note for the notes and let us say try to add some caps into it and you see the change in the format of fonts so this is the note 12 and this is the capsule so note is smaller than the one size of the note is smaller than the capsule now let us add some x-axis title on the x-axis so how do we add the title on the x-axis we specify this option called x title so let us write this is x type x title this is x title otherwise the default title is the label of for this variable p so if you see performance before this is our y-axis so this is the label of variable a now let us change it we can change the title for y-axis and we're going to write it this is y title now you see this performance before will be replaced by y title this is y title i have added the title subtitle nodes caps on x title and y title similarly we can let's manipulate the labels if you see the label on x axis it is minus 20 to 10 now let us change the label we are going to change the label from minus 40 to 40 and if you see this range it will be minus 40 to 40 now you see this is minus 40 to 40 minus 40 to 40 and we have changed this label of 
x-axis and you can specify this also you can specify the degrees as well not only horizontal you can write vertical as well and you see how the labels or the marking of the numbers in x-axis how, how does it change now you see it's vertical previously it was horizontal and you can again specify the degrees that you like let's say 60 degrees this option and you will see the changes level so this is 60 degree incline 60 degree this is vertical change the level of y so we have the scale from say up to 100 something more than 100 and something less than zero so let us be precise and let us change the y label so we specify this option y label this is the number list from 200 to 900 and it will increase by 50 and the GERD will be displayed at angle horizontal let us see what happens Y level from minus minus 30 or 40 to 890 and you can also manipulate this angle you can specify the degree of your choice or a horizontal vertical okay and let us try to manipulate the legion so this is performance before and performance after so what how does this graph work so this is the graph between A and the T and D and T. So here T is are represented in X axis and A and D are represented in Y axis. Now let us write the legend to this. So what should be the legend? We are going to manipulate the legend. We simply want to write before and after. Before for one and after for two. And if you see the changes over here. So this is before and this is after let us see the graphs according to their categories let us draw a scatter graph of a b and the category by the category c c is a category of variable that contains good better best so this is what it looks like based on its category good better and best and we can always add title subtitle modes and so on now these are the categories you can add the total total and we have a specified rule so it appears in rule and we can make it appear in column as well by specifying this option called column col so this is for total and this is for paste better and good let us change its title so this is years and this is income for x and y x title and y title so two way we are there are two graphs one is the scatter graph a and b and we are fitting a line of A and B in the same graph. This is a line fit. And we can represent the same thing without specifying this tool. We can include this number of graphs within the brackets, a small bracket. And this serves the same purpose. We get the same graph. We are going to add X title and Y title to the same graph. Simply, so this is the different years and income. Now let us write. Q fit confidence interval of A and B and a scatter graph AB. So there are two graphs. We have separated it with the help of small brackets. We have written it two way. So one is going to fit the confidence interval upon this graph. So first draw the area over this graph. Now what is new here? We are going to draw the same graph disaggregated according to the category variable C now this. And we can draw the same graph using this option by specifying this symbol. So this represents the same graph. And we can again specify the same graph by this option. We can remove this end and sign. So let us close around this. We get the same graph. And we could have written the first area this graph to be categorized by C and then we have we specify the scatter they also it will also help us draw the same graph now let us draw two different graph types in the same graph so this is two-way scatter 
scatter and dot we are going to draw in the same graph and disaggregated by the categorical variable b good better base now let us draw another line graph and sort it so this is the line graph a b where this is a single graph and let us use this graph is scatter 80 here are two graphs one is scatter 80 and another is, is scatter dt let us generate a delta as difference of a d and a and let us label the variable delta by difference of d and a and graph two with delta and t this is the graph of a and t now we are going to combine this graph the two-way line at so x-axis and y-axis we are allowing for two axes so x-axis and y-axis this is the one axis x-axis y-axis we can represent this portion is another x-axis axis second and this portion is another y-axis so we have allowed this options and if you see performance before this is the performance before this is the first axis y-axis this is the second y-axis this is the second x-axis and this is the first x-axis two-way line at line delta t let us draw these two graphs the first graph is about line at and the second graph is about delta t two-way line at and line dt this represents t and this y-axis it represents actually delta and a and d a and d the values of a and d now let us graph two way delta t and line dt graph two way line at line dt and delta t so again here t is our x-axis and a d and delta they are represented in y-axis and two way graph line a delta t this is equivalent to the same graph so the last one is represented by x-axis and any preceding variables they are represented by y-axis this is very simple now let us merge all of these thing into a single command so we are going to draw two way line 80 and we are allowing room for two axes so each axis will have two axes and then we are going to draw line dt another line delta t and we are going to linear feed of delta and t and then we are going to keep the title this y title change is for this is y title so second y we will get this title appearing on our right side x title again x is 2 this x so we will see this title on the top and this is the normal labels for x label 14 on the 14 where of axis 2 we are going to get some grid so a line will be dropped from here and then y labels for axis 2 we are going to see the label from minus 300 to 500 on the side and a y label we are going to get this demarcation on our y axis normal y axis and these are the titles, labels, subtitles, notes, and legends. So let me run this and you will see the differences. You see this this is the graph. If you see from minus 300 to 500, this is due to the label specifying this option, minus 300 to 500, and in axis 2, and it is Y label. So this is the 2. This is Y first, and this is Y second, and this and y label is for the normal one we get from minus 600 to 1200 so normal one minus 600 to 1200 this is the one and then if you see from 14 you see a grid line appearing from 14 so this is an axis 2 so this is of x so second this is our first x-axis and this is our second x-axis and at point 14 we get this line then after performance before and after this is the y title so this is the y title and this is y title on axis 2 y title on axis 2 change and interview year 
interview here this is the x title on axis 2 title the main title is this before and after performance history subtitle is nepal in a small size and then we have the note this is our note and the legend we have one for before status and two for after status after status and for status this is the letter ledger so please take your time in understanding this thank you very much for your time thank you very much economics melody